This morning we're in Central California. It's a cold morning, unseasonably cold. Uh, we had a low of 25 degrees last night. We're in the middle of an orange grove. You may recognize the fruit. These go into the cuties program, the little blue bags, little blue boxes you see in the grocery stores. For frost control, growers buy these wind machines. You can see how the trees are blowing in the wind right now. That is air being moved by the machine. Up around 35 feet, we have what we call an inversion layer. An inversion layer is a layer of air above the ground that is slightly warmer than the ground level. The wind machines bring that air down to the floor. And it may only be one or two degrees warmer, but every degree helps when you're talking 25 degree lows. Also, they run sprinklers, water. Water out of the wells is typically around 60 something degrees, 60, 65 degrees. That water is warmer than ambient air temperature. The water releases heat in, in addition to the fans, which raise the orchard floor. You can see on the ground there's still frost, but underneath the tree, the water, no frost. And by doing this, they have a certain degree of safety that you can protect their crop. Oranges are uh, capable of withstanding temperatures uh, below 28 degrees for a few hours. They can't uh, sustain low 20 degree temperatures for many hours. Uh, the fruit will freeze. It's too early to tell if this fruit is going to be damaged or not. It doesn't appear to be damaged. It appears that the uh, frost control measures have worked tonight. This is the second night of a series of nights that's going to be cold in here in Central California. Uh, two more nights of uh, cold weather. The growers are going to be up late watching wind machines and running water.